The agriculture of the future has to face the challenge of feeding the world's ever-growing population. Already today, more than 7 billion people live on this planet. By 2025, another billion will have been added. On the other hand, we have to deal with increasing energy and fuel costs. Therefore, bigger machines that consume less relative to the area capacity are keeping with current trends. Especially in harvesting technology, this trend has been growing over the last years. Machine and Fabric Kemper, located in the Munsterland, Germany, is also intensively dealing with this challenge. With about 300 employees, Kemper has been developing for more than 40 years innovative products for agricultural challenges. In the 50s, the Kemper maize chopper, which was a one-row chopper, was a real technical achievement. Kemper worked on the further development of this row-dependent maize chopper and has been offering the row-independent harvesting technology of today since the 80s. When powerful forage harvesters became more and more common, broader harvesting headers were developed. But does this mean that the end of the development is reached? What will the challenges of the future be like? The specialists of the world's leading supplier of row independent harvesting headers wanted to find out what can really be achieved with the forage harvesters that are available on the market today. Is it possible to enlarge the modular concept of Kemper harvesting headers and to include even broader headers? Which are the bending forces we would have to deal with? And could common harvesters, as they are used today, lift a broader header at all? This can only be shown by a field test. After weeks of assembly work in our experimental workshop, our engineers were proud to present a 20-row harvesting header. But will it prove itself valuable on the field? Whoa! Real high-end technology, the iPad. Buy a camper now and save an iPad. One iPad for the end customer and one iPad for the salesman. Check it out here. Ask the camper team for the terms and conditions. After comprehensive theoretical calculations and tests, the Kemper team finally turned their vision into reality. With incomparable effort and strong manpower, the first test for Study 2020 was finally an item on the agenda. After the tractor drivers were given the safety instructions, the first test run could start. But it is also important to find out more about the possibilities of mounting Study 2020 on the different types of forage harvesters available on the market today. 15 meters in width and 20 rows at a time are the numbers that describe this worldwide novelty. After all, this corresponds to the width of nine cars or one articulated lorry. But will this prototype prove itself usable in reality? Worldwide, it is the very first time that such a big harvesting header was used. All the specialists agree. With this new header, we will enter a new dimension of performance. The 800 plus horsepower engine of the forage harvester gets the header started. With the full working width, the harvesting header chops areas of incredible dimensions within minutes, followed by five tractors, all driving in the space that was chopped. The enormous throughput of maize crop reveals the limits also of the most powerful forage harvesters. cross-transport is no problem for the 20-row header. The crop is easily led through the drums to the forage harvester.
but John Deere was the first candidate to test the header and did extremely well. But how will the header fit to other types of harvesters? The demounting and mounting is done on the spot. The prototype is set down on a special assembly dolly. Will the weather play along? From time to time, dark clouds appear. Now it is important to do the mounting as quickly as possible. Look how flat that is, the iPad. Buy a camper now and save an iPad. One iPad for the end customer and one iPad for the salesman. Check it out here. Ask the camper team for the terms and conditions. The enormous performance of the forage harvester is almost spooky. Even the engines of the most powerful harvesters have to use their full potential in order to deal with the incredible amounts of crop. Feeler wheels ensure the necessary lateral stability and guarantee that the header is always parallel to the ground. Even if only one side of the harvester is in operation, which means 10 rows after all, the incredible working width is striking. And 10 rows correspond to the working width that is most sold today. But as effortlessly as all standard headers of Kemper, Study 2020 is also able to chop only one row. This is important for the optimal exploitation of all crops, also along the field boundaries. It is done. A successful test is coming to an end. Study 2020 successfully passed its first test. The Kemper engineers are visibly proud of their work, but there is still a lot to do until the prototype is ready to go into series production. However, Study 2020 already proves today what is technically possible, and it is therefore a vision of what is feasible. Isn't that great? With an iPad, you can even take a movie. Buy a camper now and save an iPad. One iPad for the end customer and one iPad for the salesman. Check it out here. Ask the camper team for the terms and conditions. <laughs> 